As long as y'all make it no reason, we can always see this. How's your voice, Patty? Patty, it's fast. How's your voice? Any, any better? Mm -hmm. Why? Because you weren't feeling any better? I feel 
Thank you all for coming this evening. We appreciate your time and, and looking forward to your input. Um, we called the meeting to order at what time, Shelly? 635. 637. Apologies, I'm a little bit of a delay. Mm -hmm. I will introduce Denise first to talk about the first couple of slides and I will not leave the more article so you don't see everybody was fine. Thank you, everyone. Inside. This first slide will be operating budget comparison. Uh, that's three years on it, so I'm not going to change by three. And it's more of a handout. So the total for page one is that I got with 38 dollars and I'm going to put it in 38 um, $1,642 increase. And on the set of the total for two is four fifty six point seven. The tax point five two percent increase. The tax rating cap for the operating budget increase is about nineteen cents. And then if you flip to the third page, we have the non-operating budget, and that's the end of the improvements. That's where we have the big difference. Um, that includes nine hundred thousand dollars for the Frederick Road improvement project, and two hundred nineteen thousand three hundred forty-four dollars for the solar project. Both of these projects have revenue that offsets them completely in this year. So the total for other improvements um, is 139,308 and a large percentage of 101.71%. So the non-operating budget total is $2.96 more. The expenditure for the operating budget, $1.19 per 
from estimated tax rate impact of four dollars and fourteen cents. The next thing is the revenues. That's at one dollar twenty six six ninety nine for a team, which subtracts two dollars and sixty seven cents from that for a total tax rate impact budget wise of a dollar forty eight. And with that, I think um, we can probably get ready for the rest of the presentation. So, article number five is for a $900,000 growth budget um, for commercial, includes the engineering, reconstruction, and paving. The nine hundred thousand um, comes in in the form of a um, of a bond, so we'll be borrowing um, from a local bank for that. And as I said, the revenue offsets that completely. And this year, our first payment for the bond will be um, due in twenty twenty four for two hundred five thousand dollars, and it's two hundred five thousand for each year for four years after that. Anyone have any questions about that? All right. You want to go again? So, so we, we do here at the other time. Oh, okay. Well, so that's what that is. We do here at the other time. Yeah. 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 What is the interest rate on this bond? I believe it's four point two. Four point three five. Oh, four point three five five. That was close. <laughs> Financial articles are out of 12. State of town will vote to raise and appropriate the amount of $80,000 for the purpose of highway and sidewalk asphalt repayment and tribute. Projects, tax rate impact 21 cents, will be recommended by the board of selectmen by a vote of three to zero. The request will follow. Rob? Well, article 13, see if the panel will vote to raise an appropriate sum of $250,000 to be added to the road resurfacing and reconstruction capital reserve. Fund as previously established, balance as of December 31st, 2022, $943,714.79. Tax rate impact percentage recommended by the Board of Selectmen by a vote of 3 to 0. Any questions on that? Any questions? Article 14, the of town of Oak Ridge and appropriate the budget committee's recommended amount of $4,792,830 for the general municipal operation. We will not include special or individual articles of this. Majority vote required, recommended by the board of selectmen by a vote of 3 to 0. And the lifting below is Highway streets and bridges, one million thirty three thousand seven hundred and thirty three dollars. Municipal solid waste and recycle two hundred and fifteen thousand nine hundred and ten dollars. Health purposes two thousand fifty dollars. 
welfare 45,260. Recreation tax $238,103. Patriotic purposes $7,056. Conservation Commission $250. Long term debt $1,500 for a total of $4,793,830. We also have a tax rate impact data which is on the side of the slide. Any questions or comments on Article 14? Not Article 15. See if the panel of work to raise an appropriate sum of 165932 dollars for the operation of the Goran Public Library. Tax rate impact 43 cents, recommended by the board of selectmen by vote of three to zero. Questions or comments out of the 15. Article 16. See if the town will work to raise an appropriate sum of $5,000 to be added to the library maintenance capital reserve fund as previously established. Balance of December 31st, 2022, $5,050.69. Tax rate impact, one cent. Recommended by the board of selectmen by a vote of three to zero. Any questions, Article 16? Oops, maybe we can put that. Not that. Not Article 17, see if the town will work to raise an appropriate sum of five hundred and ninety-three thousand nine hundred and sixteen dollars for the operation of the sewer department. This amount will be offset by user fees and sewer funds that will not affect the general taxation. Questions or comments on the 17? Oops. See if the town will vote to raise an appropriate sum of $580,000 for the operation of the water department. This amount will be offset by user fees and water funds. This will not affect general taxation. Any questions on that? No. And for 19, see the town will vote to raise an appropriate sum of $10,000 for the purpose of supporting the 4th of July committee with the cost of fireworks for the 4th of July celebration. Tax rate impact of three cents. Recommended by the board of selectmen by a vote of three to zero. Any questions or comments? Article 19. Sorry about that. Article 20. Yeah, I got a question okay. regarding this article here for the uh, okay purpose of supporting the uh, Fourth of July fireworks. There was a previous article called for uh, patriotic purposes. What's the difference between the two? The um, this one article for the ten thousand is um, the town's contribution for the cost of the fireworks alone, which is fifteen thousand this year. They're going up, and the other patriotic purpose item is um, to cover the police services, so traffic control, um, and have a there's I can't remember the issue. I haven't seen them schedule that, but they cover for the whole thing. So. Um, we have uh, part time ones that are probably from the surrounding communities to come in for the fireworks and so. All right, thank you. Other questions on Article 19? Number 
if the town will want to raise an appropriate sum of fifty thousand dollars to be added to the flyer truck capital reserve fund as previously established. Balance as of December 31st, 2022, $208,341.27. Tax rate impact, 13 cents. It's recommended by the board of selectmen by one of three to zero. And the questions are added to 20. No. <clears throat> Article 21, see if the town will vote to raise and appropriate the sum of $12,500 to be added to the fire and equipment capital reserve fund as previously established. Balance as of December 31st, 2022, $88,509.99. Tax rate impact, three cents. Recommended by the board selected by a vote of three to zero. The questions on Article 21. Not Article 22. See if the town will vote to establish a SCBA capital reserve fund under the provisions of RSA 35 1 for the purpose of providing SCBA equipment to firefighters and further to raise appropriate sum of $7,500 to be placed in such fund and to designate the board of selectmen's agents to expand as may be necessary for this purpose. Tax rate impact, two cents, recommended by the board of selectmen by the board of three to zero. The questions on article 22. Is this gonna be a capital reserve fund or just a fund? The way it says it's just a fund, not capital reserve. It is capital reserve. It is, okay. Other questions? Article 22. Article 23, see if the town will vote to raise and appropriate the sum of $40,000 to be added to the ambulance capital reserve fund as previously established. Balance as of December 31st, 2022, $49,643.92. Tax rate impact, 10 cents. We recommend that the board of selectmen by a vote of three to zero. Questions on Article 23. <clears throat> Article 24. To see if the town of work raise appropriate the sum of twenty thousand dollars to be added to the ambulance equipment capital reserve fund as previously established. Balance as of December 31st, 2022, $30,476.33. Tax rate impact five cents. Recommended by the board of selectmen by a vote of three to zero. Comments and questions out of 24. <clears throat> Article 25, see if the town will vote to raise an appropriate sum of $25,000 to be added to the police cruiser capital reserve fund as previously established. Balances of December 31st, 2022, $41,949.12. Tax rate impact six cents <laughs> recommended by the board of selectmen by a vote of three to zero. Question or comments item 25. No, right, item 26. See if the town will vote to raise an appropriate sum of ten thousand dollars to be added to the police equipment capital reserve fund was previously established. Balance of December 31st, 2022 is twenty thousand one hundred and six dollars and seventy-eight cents. Next meeting is cents. Recommended by the board of selectmen by a vote of three to zero. Comments and questions out of the twenty-six. <clears throat> Article 27. 
state of town will work to raise an appropriate sum of thirteen thousand dollars to be added to the dispatch equipment capital reserve fund as previously established. Balances with December 31st, 2022, $57,398.71. Tax rate impact three cents. Recommended to the board selected by vote of three to zero. Questions, comments, Article 27. Article 28. See if the town will work to raise an appropriate sum of $100,000 to be added to the town building purchase and repairs capital reserve funds previously established. Balances of December 31st, 2022, $190,926.80. Tax rate impact 26 cents. Recommended by the Board of Selectmen by a vote of three to zero. Questions or comments on the 28th? <coughs> Number 29. To see if the town will work to raise an appropriate sum of $20,000 to be added to the Renewable Energy Projects Capital Reserve Fund as previously established. Balance of December 31st, 2022, $10,000. Act rate impact, five cents. Recommended by the board of selectmen by a vote of three to zero. Questions, comments, item 29. <clears throat> Article 30. The town will both the rate and appropriate the sum of $219,344 gross budget for the purpose of purchasing and installing a 59 kilowatt roof mounted full array and related equipment at the public works garage and to authorize the issuance of $59,000 in a CDFA loan, $130,344 in federal grants, and $30,000 from the Renewable Energy Capital Reserve Fund to authorize the Board of Selectmen to apply for, obtain, and accept federal, state, or other aid, if any, which may be available for said project, and to comply with all laws applicable to said project. To authorize the Board of Selectmen to issue, negotiate, sell, and deliver said bonds and notes, and to determine the rent of interest thereon and the maturity and other terms thereof, and to authorize the Board of Selectmen to take any other action which may include declining an agreement for the project, which terms and conditions are not in the best interest of the town of Gore, and to pass any other vote thereto. there too. This project moving forward is subject to a award of $41,344 for the USDA Community Facilities Grant Program. It is recommended by your board of selectmen by a board of three to zero. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Just around with the um, financial part again. Um, the total cost is two nineteen three forty four. We have eighty nine thousand from a congressionally directed spending request through the Senator Jones office. Forty one thousand three hundred forty four dollars um, for a USDA grant that will be submitting an application for in April. Thirty thousand dollars from the Renewable Energy Projects Capital Reserve Fund. And then 49,000, which will be financed through CDFA um, at 4%. Um, two other things that um, we are hoping to take advantage of, and that is um, a rebate through HPC for $10,000 and 30% uh, direct pay inflation reduction at tax credit, um, which will either be based on 89,000 or um, or 133,000. So we're not sure about that yet, but the um, likelihood of us receiving anything um, lower than $26,700 is pretty small. So that's what we're hoping to get from that. And there's no prepayment um, penalty on the CDFA loan. So any tax credit or this $10,000 rebate 
we can apply immediately to the loan. So um, if we potentially get those two things, the cost for the project could be just a little over $20,000, which is pretty reasonable. Um, Melissa Winter is here with us from Clean Energy and Culture. We've been working with her for a couple of years now. Um, and she's going to explain the rest of the project to make sure you can see. Uh, so the town received a proposal from Revision Energy, and that is what is displayed here. On the right hand side, you can see uh, sort of an overhead graphic of what the solar array would look like on the roof of the highway garage. Uh, the building did undergo a structural engineering assessment, and the, um, the weight of the racking and the solar panels, or the building can support the weight of the racking and the solar panels. Uh, so here you can see that the um, Project size is 59.2 kilowatts. Um, the AC size is 59.9 kilowatts, and the projected annual generation is just over 60,000 kilowatt hours per year. And the total uh, system cost of the extension is $219,350, which does include the permitting and site preparation and the utility application. is the uh, revision of the continues the energy offset. So as we saw, it's projected to produce just over 60,000 kilowatt hours per year of electricity. The public works garage uh, the last year used just over 20,000 kilowatt hours per year of electricity. So this project would also net meter to the fire station and offset the uh, almost 17,000 kilowatt hours per year that is used by the fire station. Um, there will be some extra, um, even after the project that meters to the fire station, roughly 22,000 kilowatt hours um, of electricity that can be that metered to another municipal account to offset the electricity use of um, partial or uh, total electricity use of another municipal account. Uh, one thing that's worth mentioning is that um, at the public works garage and the fire station, although these are um, offset by 100% of the energy use, the bill will not be decreased by 100% because there are still standard charges on electric bills that cannot be reduced uh, by solar. And also um, there are demand charges, which are peak usage charges that uh, may not be reduced by solar. So just an important distinction is that uh, the solar will not reduce the electricity bill by 100%, but it will offset the energy portion. Another thing to mention is that the town currently has a pretty excellent um, electricity rate to a third party supplier, but in order to net meter, the town must um, not uh, be the, the public works garage and the fire station and whatever the third building is cannot be a part of that contract when it is renewed. Uh, you have to go back to your default energy supply, which is Eversource. Um, so if the town renegotiates that third party supply contract, these accounts would not be able to be that. Uh, this shows some projected um, energy production over the course of a year. And then, uh, so revision does a sort of projected savings analysis um, as part of their proposal, but we wanted to double check their savings analysis. And uh, so I worked quite frequently with Michael Prang, who is a part of the Shelburne Energy and Technology Committee. Um, and he wrote a computer program to do these sort of independent savings analysis, analyses of um, solar projects. He did the analysis for the town of Shelburne, um, and he has done them for quite a few other towns there. It's remarkably accurate. Um, he, it's a it's quite a complicated computer program, so it's great to be able to have an independent financial analysis. Um, to be able to refer to. And when he does these, um, he includes all expenses associated with the project and any income associated with the project um, into his savings analysis. And he compares that to what the standard electricity bill would be without solar. And he calls that um, a cumulative, cumulative solar benefit or cumulative solar savings. And what he found is the cumulative solar benefit for savings year 25 with the six year loan at 4% interest is approximately $375,000. If 
The project is cash positive in year one with a six year loan at 4% interest. Um, it is you know, cash positive from year one to six, and then significantly more cash positive at that year seven when the loan is paid off. And I'm sorry, there's a bit of a typo in this last line. It should say the cumulative solar benefit exceeds $100,000 uh, in 11 years with a six year loan of 4%. Question. We said that potentially this could cost twenty two thousand, but then when the slide came up, it was something like forty five thousand. When we vote on this, how are we going to know exactly what the cost would be? So we won't know until we apply the fee or until we get the tax credits back. So we gross budgeted it at two hundred nineteen three hundred thirty. That's how well, we, when we vote on it. We'll be voting on the whole amount because we don't know if the grant's going to come through. Right, and it also says that it's subject to the grant passing. So if the grant it is not awarded to us in USDA, that's it. It won't go on. It's a separate subject. Did we get the grant for school? We got, um, I think it was just about 100% paid at the school. There were two units involved. Yeah. Motion. Motion. Got a question. Yeah. How much of a battery pack are we going to have with this system? Or we're not going to have any batteries going to be direct to public service? I'm assuming this will just be an inverter and they'll be pulling the power off to the garage and the rest of it will go to the grid with credits to the other buildings that are set up. Pretty sure that's where they need to be. Yeah, no batteries. Is... Okay. So there's no batteries. No batteries. So we're really not off the grid. We'll not be off the grid. Because no. in the wintertime, you could go. <clears throat> Two weeks, three weeks without sunshine. So we're going to buy it at what cost from public service versus what are they paying us for the extra that we might generate when it's in the summertime? Well, net metering means that you apply the extra power over and above that one building to other bills. So they aren't going to pay you anything, they're just going to reduce other bills at the time of winter. Oh, yeah, we're going to create electricity and we're going to have to do some. You'll get some power, but not full power if you're going to have any cloudy days. It won't be 100% efficient for cloudy days. Other questions? Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Does those panels clean themselves in that they're going to be on top of the garage? Uh, if we get two feet of wet snow, what happens? Just a question. Um, they are covered with snow until the snow melts off, but uh, they are black, and so they heat up quickly. So as soon as the strip heats up, the snow melts off very, very quickly, and then it slides off just as it would on a metal roof. So there are going to be some times in the winter when your panels are covered with snow, uh, but the annual production is estimated on an annual basis um, using Mount Washington as the local weather uh, station. So, um, accounting for snow building. Any other questions? Others? So, the 25 year plan of that I can include maintenance. How can you start if it's going to include all the maintenance? Yep. Uh, so, it includes. Uh, make an, an, an annual um, maintenance cost to have somebody come in and check the system. Um, it includes saving for inverter replacement, which usually is done somewhere between year 10 and 2014, so an annual saving for inverter replacement, um, insurance, um, and I think that's it. Any other questions? Well, we're ready to proceed. 
Article 31. <clears throat> Receive the pound of work to make appropriate the sum of $120,000 to be added to the highway heavy equipment capital reserve plan as previously established. Balance as of December 31st, 2022. $108,381.87. Tax rate impact 31 cents. Recommended by the board of selectmen by vote of three to zero. Any questions on Article 31 or comments? If not, we win for Article 32. See the town will work to raise an appropriate sum of thirty thousand dollars to be added to the sanitation recycling capital reserve fund as previously established. Balance as of December thirty first, twenty twenty two, one hundred and forty one thousand six hundred and forty one dollars and three cents. Tax rate impact eight cents as recommended by the board of selectmen by vote of three to zero. Comments questions article thirty two. Article 33. <clears throat> See if the town will vote to raise an appropriate sum of $3,600 to be added to the Cage Hill Landfill Trust Fund as previously established. Balances of December 31st, 2022, $21,305.18. Tax rate impact on set. Recommended by the Board of Selectmen. I have order three to zero. Any questions on article three? Three. Article thirty-four. See the town of Hope to raise appropriate the sum of three thousand five hundred dollars be added to the East Milan Monitoring and Expendable Trust Fund as previously established. Balance as of December 31st, 2022, $63,978.63. Tax rate impact by set is recommended by the board of selectmen by a board of three zero. Questions on Article 34, comments? Article 35. <clears throat> you see, the town will vote to raise an appropriate the sum of $900 to be added to the Madame and Opera House Capital Reserve Fund as previously established. With such funds become from December 31st, 2022, unassigned fund balance. Balance as of December 31st, 2022, $6,247.26. No amount to be raised from taxation. Recommended by the board selected by one three to zero. Questions on Article 35. <clears throat> no. Article 36. See if the town of Walker Ridge an appropriate sum of $62,000 to be added to the assessment capital reserve fund as previously established. Balance as of December 31st, 2022, $50,014.48. Tax rate impact, 24 cents. Is recommended by the Board of Selectmen by vote of three to zero. Questions, comments, Article 36. Article 37. See if the town will work to raise an appropriate sum of $30,000 to be added to the information technology capital reserve fund as previously established. Balance as of December 31st, 2022, $49,095.58. Tax rate impact makes sense. As recommended by the Board of Selectmen by vote of three to zero. Questions or comments for Article 37? Thirty-eight. 
see if the town will vote to raise an appropriate sum of fifteen thousand dollars to be added to the river maintenance expendable trust fund was previously established. Balance of December 31st, 2022, $188,078.29. Tax rate impact four cents. Recommended by the board of selectmen by a vote of three to zero. Questions and comments, Article 38. Article 39. See if the town will work to raise an appropriate sum of three thousand dollars to be added to the special insurance trust fund as previously established. Balance of December 31st, 2022, $11,458.88. Tax rate impact, one cent. Recommended by the board of selectmen by a vote of three to zero. What did the comments article 39? Article 40, see if the town will vote to raise appropriate sum of $5,000 to be added to the longevity severance trust fund previously established. Balance as of December 31st, 2022, $37,355.31. Tax rate impact, one cent. Recommended by the board of selectmen by a vote of three and zero. Any questions on that for quarter? Article 41. See if the town will vote to raise appropriate to some $14,000 for the purpose of supporting more residents needing home care services from Anastar and Valley Home Care. Tax rate four cents. This is by petition. It has been recommended by the board selected by vote of three to zero. Questions, comments, and input on Article 41. Well, we're ready for the next time. Actually, I kind of thought a little bit of a thing. Um, for that article, um, in the past, they've used just over $5,000 um, because they would actually go. Um, and I believe this article just they're being paid out $14,000 right now. Um, we're actually paying equivalent or more than Brown. And Brown has more people being served. Um, I'm just wondering why we are, why it's been voted by that, that amount is acceptable. I'd like to see the amount, I would honestly like to see the number, but I think the 14,000 is pretty necessary. Mm -hmm. Is there speak to the app? There is. We have a yeah. 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 here. Marvel, it's another. Well, I, I, it's okay. Uh, I'm fine. Uh, I'm Mario Sullivan, and I'm the executive director of the Community Health Services. Um, so, part of what we talked about last year is that we had difficulty finding enough staff to fill all the service orders that were requested of us. Um, we expect that to change this year. Um, we met with the technical college today, and we are hoping to implement our own training course for our needs so that we can make sure that we are able to fill all of those requests for that level of service. That's one. The other thing is that that 5,000 number from last year um, wasn't entirely accurate um, for a lot of reasons, but in, in a quick summation, we had implemented a new computer system. A lot of the inputs that we expected the system to pick up with it. So the number is really a little bit less than, uh, quite a bit less than what we would have built. But the most important thing is that um, we take exception to the fact that we're the only grantee in Gorham that built. Right. Nobody else. No, I think they have to take account. Yeah, they have to take account. Yeah, they have to take account. 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 They have to take account
We have submitted um, an amended request to Berlin. Yes, it went into that. So I think a couple of points that I want to address is that the, the travel from Berlin to Gorham, because we can't find enough staff who live in Gorham, last year cost us $16,000. Just literally to pay the mileage reimbursement for the people in Berlin and the staff to come to Gorham to take care of Gorham Park. The time on the Berlin Gorham Road, just the time, was another 12000 that didn't even take into account the cost of the actual hours of service for our nurses, our owners, and our homemakers. So the $14,000 is actually not a lot. Right. Thank you. It is a lot of money, right? Any other questions on this one? Anybody happy with the standard? Where is the next one? Thank you, Brian. Yes. Chapter 22. See if the town will hold to raise the appropriate sum of $2,895 for the purpose of supporting the mental health center and providing outpatient and emergency mental health services to the citizens of Coro. Tax rate impact less than one cent. My petition recommended by the board selected by vote of three to zero. Any questions or comments on Article 42? No, I mean, we read it. Article 43. See if the panel will vote to raise the appropriate sum of $6,745. For the operate the Tri County Community Program and Cooperative Service Programs in Goal. Transportation, energy assistance, organization, guardianship, head staff, homeless intervention and prevention, RSVP, service link, senior meals, family medicine. Tax rate impact, two cents, is by petition, is recommended by the board of selectmen by board of three to zero. Question to comment on Article 43. No. <coughs> Article 44. We have the panel vote to raise an appropriate sum of ten thousand dollars for the purpose of supporting the growing community learning center in Goa. Tax rate impact three cents. My petition recommended by the board selected by vote of three to zero. Questions or comments, Article 44. What was the figure last year? So we went from forty five hundred to ten thousand. Last year, we were not able to get full capacity due to COVID restrictions, and now we are able to get full capacity. So we're able to take people out of the table and check. And how many of you come to go? 24 people are going to go. 24 people, which is 49%. So I'm going to go over there. And these people are paying back in the You do have an infant program now, right? Yes, we make it to toddlers, school age, and school age, which is why we saw that 
helps support the analytics within this. Um, speaking on that, I used to be a Beacon and Father Program Coordinator at the White House Community College, and that's part of the reason why I would like to set down to get that. Um, yeah, if you don't mind. We are able to be four at a time. We have seven year olds and five of them are more than here. I don't care if it's very costly now that it is only open. I mean, if you can keep high quality time on her float. I think we lost enough on the road. And yeah, yeah. And we still need a lot of time to out there. But y'all feel the parents' responsibility. Yes, and when they're working, though, know, it's an important thing to be able to find quality childcare that you can, you know, maybe someone you can trust, whether it's a center or private childcare. Yes, it's their responsibility. But in order to be able to offer these services so that we have a working community, it's really important to have these job services. Is there a college courses at the How much, how many, um, last year, how many goal residents? Thank you. After 25, to see if the town will want to raise an appropriate sum of $4,000 for the purpose of supporting the ongoing public service of the Golden Historical Society, the museum, and their work to protect and preserve the history of Golden, and that great impact on set. I'd like to appreciate the government by the board of selecting I vote three to zero. Any questions on Article 25? No, I very good. Article 46. You see if the matter of local rate appropriate to some of ten thousand dollars for the purpose of supporting the family resource center in Gorland, tax rate impact reset. Given by Patricia, recommended by the board, selected by a vote of three to zero. Any questions, comments, Article 26? Yes. Yeah, I know she's James. Um, so I know that the building is the town building that has been um, basically offered in the morning to the family resource center. Um, and <laughs> um, I was wondering how much, like, I'd love to know how much they receive from an income from an SAU and community to the learning center, and if their costs actually go above and beyond that, or if it's actually helping them kind of supplement what they do. I know their program's really important, but I'm just telling you know, like, yeah. <laughs> it costs us uh, $60,000 a year to run the building. We have like forty thousand dollars a year for our tenants. So last year it was a little more because we had tenants on the house in the building. So last year, the year, we lost twenty five thousand dollars. So we, as an organization, have to put that in. This year, we're probably going to be around thirty thousand. So that's what we do for rent. Right. It doesn't really work out at the same time. In addition to that, we profit manage the building for. Right. We do get a few services for the town, but they don't really see them up. Okay, Any other questions on Article 46?
not even ready. Article 47, I see the panel of order raised the birthday of $2,000 for the purpose of supporting the Anastasia River athletes, lo local Special Olympics team. Next rate impact less than one cent by petition, recommended by the board of selectmen and by vote three to zero. Questions or comments on the party second. <clears throat> You're ready. Article 48. If the town will both raise an appropriate sum of $3,000 for the purpose of ruling the Women's Garden Valley Champions marketing efforts through our branded marketing program, both the adventure stats here and for tax rate impact less than one cent by petition and is recommended by the board of selectmen by a vote of three to zero. Questions or comments at the 48? Seeing none, we're ready for Article 49. 49, to see if the panel will vote to raise an appropriate sum of $5,000 for the purpose of supporting hospitals, home health, palliative care, long term care services provided by the North Country Home Health and Hospice Agency. Max rate in fact, one cent by petition, recommended by the Board of Selectmen by one to three to zero. Questions, comments, input on that for five minutes. If not, ladies and gentlemen, that is the end of the water in terms of the presentation tonight. If you have any articles you'd like to hear discuss more, please let us know. Otherwise, the public hearing will be adjourned. Yeah, uh, we uh, 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 I love it. It's a public thing and it's being recorded, so that oh, definitely help you later. Oh.
So, Christina didn't say anything. Huh? Christina, I'm new to say something. I didn't. Say <laughs> I'm here. <laughs> I'm actually wanted... surprised that I'm the only one on a Zoom because yeah. I know we're the only one that probably shouldn't have been there. <laughs> I didn't publicize the link. That's why. <laughs> <laughs> well, no, I just I'm I'm surprised because I got it from somewhere and there's yep. I sent it to there. So <laughs> <laughs> all right, we're gonna continue on. So. so all right. <laughs> Pull another thing. Now we have to that it's uh, uh, yeah. uh, we need to so 
Right. What about going yeah, to the next year? That would be up to the board. And they've already spoken about what they're planning. Otherwise, no other work is going on any rooms. I didn't realize that the whole thing is on top of that. Yeah, yeah. And going forward, forward right. so, so you're talking about adding going forward, yeah. no, starting in fiscal year. 2024, yeah. adding $205,000 to the top. Sorry, it's not too big. That's going to be wrong. That's the end of the level. Right. Yeah. You've been pretty much doing what you want to So, but the thing you, so we had the hearing, you were present for most of it. Um, but, but that road, at least this was the idea, um, that road's reached a point where you can't predict that it will simply wash out in the next five years. It's it's just in such a tough shape. Out of all the roads in town, uh, once you take care of Evergreen, it's been broken. So if you're looking down the, the bank pole of something that's got to get done, it's, it's right there at the very top. The only question is whether you're going to do it correctly and then have a, a surface that can be easily maintained more or less forever uh, with just topping it. Uh, you know, or I, you're, I agree with you. I don't yeah, think it's, it's, just, it's just, I just have a really hard time bottling up why that for the next couple of years, the next five years, no matter what happens, and whether they build the roads or anything else, it doesn't matter. We're not going to that amount of money. It's, you know, it's like we have to pay the money. We have to pay the money back. That's right. And no matter what happens with tax rates or anything else, we're locked into it. Well, that's not entirely true. So you do have the 250 figure going forward, which, you know, and the board is like to be unanimously said and states tonight. That based on what we know today, we'll be asking to put that in as long as we're selected. Having said that, <coughs> you bring up, you know, the unforeseen. So if the unforeseen were to happen and it seemed prudent to not put 250000 in the fund, then that would take care of the two hundred five. You could reduce the budget. Back down, 205 is simply not appropriating the standard um, 250 a year. So, you know, it's, uh, the construction of that road, uh, based on what's happening above it, this is the time to do it. Um, I know people say, well, you know, the mobilization, that's all guesswork. This is construction. There's a certain amount of guesswork involved. Um, but really, when you're dealing with an outfit like, you know, HEB, this is what they do year in and year out. And yeah, they make estimates and they're usually pretty good. I mean, they might be off a little bit. But right now, I know that we've got, we've got very good interest um, from bidders. Which had this thing it, originally, um, it was sprung on the slack and we needed to do this last year. And last year would have been a disaster if we pushed it. So this year, pavement costs seem a lot more stable. Everything seems a lot more stable than the last year. Some materials are made down. And labor is a lot more available this year than it was last year. So we got a bunch of contractors who come in and express it. Well, right. And so we, we might have been lucky to get two to bid on this thing last year. Now we do Hemlock and Evergreen and not do the way brought then your all your mobilization costs um, will repeat themselves when you get to that 2400 feet of road. And that's around 100,000 bucks. So all said and done, they, we do it all at once. Um, and we basically, 
but we are going to save 100,000 mobilization. That's going to be eaten up by the interest of the bond, but the work will all be done at once because there's another factor here. And that is, you know, as all of us know, who live on streets in New Orleans, it's um, when construction is going on, it's enormously disruptive. I mean, even just paving in Larry Street was, you know, probably not your best summer. You know they're gonna they're gonna have some significant disruption just with Evergreen and Hemlock, and then that's how it's gonna go. It's gonna go Hemlock, Evergreen, then they'll be Lake Road. So it will be a summer of difficulty for the folks up there, um, but it's a lot better than having two summers of difficulty. You know, one of which could be determined by the weather. And uh, and I'll just leave you with this: Evergreen. Um, and that big rainstorm we had here a couple of months ago. I was up there uh, towards the end of the day. They had the excavator from water and sewer work in it. And, you know, the highway was out there in the forest. They had rocks rolling down the middle of the road. I mean, it literally broke the top of the screen bed. So it's uh, the pavement on that road is. is Pretty much ceased to exist. The pavement on um, Playbrook right now, in the area that we're looking at, is so broken up, busted up, it's, it's essentially useless. Uh, it's, it's just not. So, this is what drove me and, and the other selectmen to, um, to do something that, you know, I don't like to do. I don't like the bomb. And if I don't like the bond, he likes the bond even less than I do. But, you know, the reality of the situation was that it's the only thing that really makes sense. I think Denise, she's the last time we had a bond in town was 20 fucking years ago. How long ago was it? Okay, so that, was the, that wasn't that long ago. That was 2000. Yeah. Five. Five. Yeah. Yeah, so uh, in terms of I'd just like to say that ordinarily don't like the bond. I don't like the bond. I'd rather have a capital reserve fund and put two hundred thousand dollars a year into it and not pay interest. Where the situation that we're facing right now with the condition of the road is such. You know, one alternative we could say was, all right, starting this year, we're going to put in two hundred an extra two hundred thousand dollars a year, and five years from now we'll do the job. I would hazard a guess that five years from now, the increased cost of the project would be at least equal to the interest we're going to be paying on the bond. The interest rates, although they've gone up, are not horrendous right now. They're they're still manageable. Whether or not they continue to go up after that, I don't know. Yeah. My crystal balls not back there. But I, with, with all the very well percent, I mean, you're you're almost getting money in a discount. If you're in the inflationary era of 8%, you're getting money in 4%. What does that tell you? I don't know how they do that. I pay those all. <laughs> I don't care. 4% is a great rate. Okay. It's simplistic way of looking at You're looking at Two years you're gonna have to do that road. Well, yeah, but you're not doing anything else in town. We're not gonna be in it. I know that's what it's doing. I just know it because I am telling you the way that the money is working going into these budgets. We're not gonna be putting 250 in, but we're gonna have to cut it out because. You're looking at the about the tax rates. I'm already hearing a lot of it now. On what's this one up to with the study? Well, we, we, we are anticipating there again, nobody's got a perfect crystal ball, but we are hopeful that uh, tax burden, the tax burden will in the next few years be shifting to what is more normal for us. Right now, we, we, we had a we had a bad year. We shifted, the, or the tax burden has shifted towards a residential in a big way. 
not normal for us. That hasn't happened. <laughs> not in my school, not in my school. So, you have to know that I know it's been around longer than we do. That's not true. <laughs> this is why I like that to be around. <laughs> because he has been around longer than me. And Glenn used to be so alive. <laughs> Any more discussion? Uh, the motion on the floor for the budget committee would be to recommend the amount requested in Article 5. All those in favor, please raise your hand. Yes. All those opposed, please raise your hand. <coughs> Six two. Yeah. Okay. Motion is recommended by a six to two vote. Okay. Uh, article twelve is uh the motion to approve article twelve. We'll move to the secondary. Article 12, we recommend that. Right. Let's say that. Well, you can't see that. Discussion? Discussion. Uh, all those in favor of Article 12 being recommended, please raise your hands. I don't want to have to do that. It's $80,000 for a sidewalk. I'm sorry. Are you coming in with my vote? All those in favor of having a vote? Opposed? Anybody opposed? No vote. I'm going to move. This is for road resurfacing and reconstruction. $250,000 for all the buildings in that one. Take a vote to the city. Second. Thank you. Great. Great job. I didn't know. I didn't think anybody was going to second the discussion. All those in favor of recommending Article 13. Any opposed? No. Oh. Article 14 is the general budget amount. Uh, budget approval. Second. Second. Uh -huh. <laughs> <That's a good laughs> It wasn't that big. Discussion and questions? No, I don't know. I just want to bring up that we can have a discussion on this or we can have a discussion on this. I mean, is anybody interested in getting anything out of this budget? Is it like for all of us? I'm not sure. 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 We were told to wait and come back to the meeting. And I said we were going to cut it in the show before. And I got pretty well this all the way to that. Well, you can, you can make a recommendation, can we make a recommendation? Or we just go yes or no to them? This is one of those things that we can make some game rules about how this committee works. And every year, the budget committee gets some time about when things can be changed and when they can. And I said in the beginning, if we're going to make a change, it should be before the hearing. I don't know what would happen. So, what's it going to be? Because if that's the case, and this is all just a rubber stamp, we didn't do a damn thing at all. This committee is wasting our time. Oh, I don't come as a waste of time. <laughs> 
Well, because it's another point of oversight. Whether you think it's a waste of time or not, I don't think it's a rubber stamp either. Because we've had discussions about the, the inflationary facts, the rise in everything, the increase in oil, the increase in sand, the increase in salt, the increase in vehicles, and, and we've had those discussions. So I didn't spend my evenings for nothing. You might think you did, but I didn't. Because I'm looking at this, I'm looking at this budget and 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 I think about the work that's put in, the oversight from these people, the oversight from this lady, the oversight from these people, and then it comes to us. And those discussions happen, happen. And so yeah, I mean I I I don't disagree with you that I think maybe to me, which we I talked about at the last meeting. That expectation prior to anything starting, the talk begins in August. These people, and in addition, talking to the selectmen and say, you know, so whenever we meet and say, hey, can we make some recommendations right off the bat before anybody starts putting pencil to paper or typing on a computer? That's that where I am. So, yeah. Um, Again, my thought was, I don't think this is the right time to get into a position in a recreation department. And you know, there's degrees at the bottom. And I get that. And we did talk about using the revolving fund because the impetus behind hiring a full time position versus a part time position was to bring extra money into the park and practice department. And that money will not go back to the town. That money will go back to the parks and rec in the revolve. <laughs> He's talking about how the summer folks on how the revolving fund because that summer program came into the revolving fund. So it gets paid in. He's using them um, to get paid through that program or that fund. And in terms of parks and rec, um, if she may be bringing more money as a full time person, and I'm still not convinced of that, but if she does, it's going to go in the revolving. And so, using the same idea for the summer people, if she's going to bring more money, then her increase in the cost of salary and benefits is usually a commodity. If it's going to be over $40,000, I think almost, almost $45,000, if I'm not mistaken. For that one increase in position, and then it's a permanent position, and no one wants to talk for any positions. And then I understand that. But it's just adding and adding and adding and adding. And I've got people calling me and messaging me if the tax rate goes up too much more, I'm going to lose my freaking house. Or I'm going to have to move out of the house that I've been in for decades. They're scared at how this tax rate is going up on top of the values, okay? I, I don't know what else to say. I'm hearing from people, I can't afford it anymore. And, and what I think I heard tonight is that it's going to add, what, a dollar something or other, a dollar 48 on top of the 24.25, and then we potentially have more coming next year for the bond, we're breaking people's backs. And this is a non essential department, park and rest. The library is a non essential department. Nobody's going to die if parks and rec has to pay 45000 out of the revolving fund. Nobody's going to die if, for example, the library goes from 40 hours a week to 30 hours a week, which is more in line with everybody else in Hawass County. I think we have to look at the, the departments like ambulance. If we have to start waiting a half an hour for people to get a response, then trust me, I know I was in the second film. Okay. But nobody's going to die if the rec department has to pay for that program. Nobody's going to die if the, the library isn't open 40 hours a week. Yeah. I would just like to say that I think that 
your comments and your feelings and what you're getting from people, you know, I'm not saying that that's real. But I also feel like there's other voices in this community that want to invest. And there's other that want to, I want to see a robust spread of I want to see some of these things. Absolutely. So I think it's really a matter of um, just different opinions and and majority ruling for now. Absolutely. That isn't that yeah. But I just I just, I just don't want you to think that we don't hear that because we do really hear what you're saying. I just don't happen to you know completely agree with it. And I don't know that the majority of town agrees, but that's the difficulty I see in these and that's that's the reality is whoever shows up at town meeting is gonna make the decision. Okay. Um I've also had a lot of people say, I don't dare speak at town meeting because I've seen what happens to people who speak out. Okay. So I, 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 if the committee has a, the committee has a whole votes to accept it, that's the majority. I guarantee I will not be accepted. Can I say something for us? Sure. Your use of the term of non essential. For both of those departments, I just, I'm not a big fan of that. Because to someone, that's essential. Mm -hmm. To someone, that library is essential. Mm -hmm. All these departments are essential. What makes our town our town? And what, what makes our kids who are going to a basketball tournament this weekend ask any parent in the stands if the rec department is essential? And, and, and I don't think they're going to tell you it's not essential. Or the elderly people who are going to the library and getting their readings, go see them on Tuesday morning when they come and get their books every week and they read three or four and ask them if it's essential. It is essential. And All I'm these departments are essential. I'm comparing life saving and safety. To something that's not, that's all that I'm saying. Well, it's non essential. I get what you said. I understand what you said. I, I just am not a big the, fan. The essential part of it comes down to if it's a little bit less, it's not going to affect people. I mean, again, if you really want to affect the way of life, if the volume is on the yes, it's a cost. No, it's not going to take programs down there. It's not going to change whatever need that I need. And that's what we're saying about it. It's not essential. It's our same as um, the, the police on the street and the, the, the plows on the road. I get it. I just don't like the term. Well, I, I get it. But it's all I got that notion. I have a question. Was, who answers that? When is the right time to make a point? Recommendation or ask somebody to I guess reduce their budget. That's what the union viewer is telling us right now. Is who answers that? I, I would say that the, the answer is if you're going to make recommendations, you have to have the public's input in the area to see if they had any comments to put in that would be more of a way of it rather than having made a recommendation prior to them having any input as it was. That's why I was saying this would be the time. The attendees. The attendees who were here, they weren't a lot of general public, but yeah. technically they could have been if they wanted to be here. But uh, the, the idea is we're supposed to be looking at this now as the final recommendation of our committee based on all the input from the town, the departments, and the public. Who attended the hearing. Or get the hearing or, or have possibly made known their wishes but couldn't be here and have talked to them. But so this is this is the way the rubber hits the road with that in terms of coming up with the vote as to what does the budget committee recommend. The way I read it. I agree that if you having a little more notice signing these a little earlier. Why do you know what's going on a little bit in the mix, but so that stuff like that can be dealt with a lot easier earlier than today? It, it's kind of like, and, and I say, and the only reason I say this is because I know what goes into it. You guys know what goes into it. it it's not going in blind. No one's just going to help. Oh, you know what? I think that is I that. They're just not doing that. They're not. 
they're, they're building their budget based on what they feel that their departments need, the EMS, the police, the rec, the, the library, and then this lady looks at it, soon to be Mr. Gallant, then these <laughs> people do it, and Judy does it, and then we do it. So it's, but I think that conversation about the inflation of our budgets needs to happen in office. That's when this whole process starts. Is that when you say, hey, Chief, is there any way you can? Or, hey, buddy, is, there, is it possible to, you know? Oh, can we verbalize that for the phone? You know, and we, and you, this. And then so, you, you talk you talk about I don't think it's a rubber stamp. Has this been fun? No. And the reason it hasn't been fun is because we all know when you go from paying two dollars and fifty cents a dozen eggs to seven, or if you pay two dollars for gas and it's going to four, or your oil bill, it, it's all going up. Nothing's going down. I think Nothing. too, and I think too that no matter what budget you present. <laughs> That there's always going to be some um, objection to something in the budget. So I think that uh, they have gone through the process and they presented the budgets. And, and nobody really, based on what Lee said, the citizens who sat here did not have any qualms about this budget. We don't have the details to do that. They don't. I understand that, Mayor, but this is the process. You're living with the process. You can't change the process. Okay. And then the next point is on the 14th. Mm -hmm. yeah. and if I can leave, can you watch that? And at any point, I will be able to achieve everything. Okay. And the people who are affected oftentimes the most are the ones who are working through the jobs just to make money. <laughs> They rely on this company and this select board to really evaluate the details and see if there's any way to make any kind of decision. If they want to keep this one at all, it's at 1.25, one and a half times, two times speed, even if they can start talking to the same policy. So it's not like the team, I don't know what he's saying. That no one has a chance not to know these services. If they even want to, they want to further context. It comes to us. We'll be five days a week, eight thirty a.m. I think I think the detail is probably a matter of public record. I don't know if we're going to get the copy of the video. The what? For me. Copy of the video. We're going to be doing the video. Yeah, they can go to the finance office and say, hey, if you guys please print us a budget, like you guys showed us a budget. I said, yes, yes, I can. One more time, please. But, I mean, uh, I mean obviously, I, you know, I know that uh, I will be a minority on a lot of this stuff, and I will not. And the one thing I did do most of it was your price of gas, diesel. All that stuff in place here, he talks about what he was talking about. Extra stuff that's being added in this year that is, that is new, added in, doing the lead now, and we've already had huge jumps. That's I did not go on, but I know price has gone up everywhere, and you got to pay more. So, yes. yeah, I just wanted to say with, with regard, especially to the recreation budget. Each and every year since the revolving fund has been created, you know, we have moved something out of the regular budget into that budget. This year it was the uh, park program people not to say next year that we can move that extra for kids. And, but we just we do it gradually. We don't stick like a whole thing with that in there because then we're gonna end up taking it out of the regular budget box. Um, but we do at a school year at you know we have been issue. Um, salary and the next year we're going to make some improvements, but we transfer something every year um, because that's where the revenues come in and we're covering as much as we can. Um, so, even though Jeff is in the 
80s portion of the increase. Um, this year, he did in the part of the people over the last year. And I think he did say something about the book mm -hmm. maker, like, and there's a difference between part time employee for the summer program and making part time people full time employees. So that's, that's what I'm saying. Other things on the board at this point, I don't know. Uh, so yeah. 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 Fish Oh, that's right. Yeah, I think I was looking at I forgot. Okay. We well, I think that you just want to make one comment just in regards to changing the library houses, um, reducing them, and that the amount of savings would not be significant. Where we are maintaining that building, you're doing that building, you're putting a lot of funds that the community has invested in this library, in this building, in this program, and they continue to invest. And I just want to see them get the most return on that investment. I want to see the most people served. Um, I mean, basically getting both bangs of the buck. Okay. Libraries are much better. Right. Yeah. <laughs> can, I, can I say one thing? Sure. Sorry. I had to. <laughs> I've said this every time I talk to Select Board budget committee, and I don't think it sinks in when I say this. When I started in 2009, 14 years ago, the right department cost the town of Warham $260,000 plus. If this budget goes through, it's going to cost the town of Warham under $240,000, just rounding numbers. So it's technically $21,659 less than it is was 14 years ago to run that farm. I don't know if that sinks in. Every time I say it, it's kind of, it just kind of looks at me like, you know, but it costs less now than 14 years ago. That's because you're, you're using you're the revolving. More we are spending more money but overall, more money. but we're making more money and it's costing the town less to have what we have. We have so much more than we did. That's something. Okay. So good enough. Yeah, we heard you. Okay, all right. Yeah, you. And you keep saying it. It makes you feel yeah. good. It does make you feel good. It does a long time. It still costs me that a lot less money than it did. Oh, 14 years ago. Message takes, but 101 years ago, 14, 14 years to now. We're getting a yeah. lot more money. Yeah. Yeah. Good. Yeah. Good. Motion on the floor would be to recommend the amount. As presented in the article after the discussion, you know, like that amount, and you know, we're going against it. If you know, we do, we're going to vote for it. All those in favor of the article as presented, Article 14, please raise your hand. Opposed? Six two. Thank you. Discussion board there. Yeah. Uh, make a motion to uh, approve Article 15 uh, for the library budget 165 and 13. Newly moved and seconded on Article 15 discussion. I would like to respond. Um, <laughs> I, I think, Shannon, that the library, and I didn't get a chance to go to your trustees meeting um, because, because I had a health issue come up. <laughs> Nobody asked me how I would have reached the idea that we could spend less on the library. And what they would have found if they had asked was that I put a lot of thought into it and I discussed it with another library trustee from another area. This library is open 40 hours a week. Berlin is 39. 
After that, the closest is Northumberland at 32, and everybody else is below that. Okay, we're 40. Everybody else is 32 and below. Uh, a lot of them were 16 hours. Shelburne rounds it off at one hour a week plus by appointment. Okay, they're barely meeting. They're, they are meeting the statutory requirement not to close it, but it's one hour a week. Okay. My thought was not to reduce your hours or your assistant's hours, but to reduce the number of hours the library would be open. If they were open 30 hours a week, you were still working 40, your assistant was working still 32, you'd keep your benefits, you'd keep the pay that was the increase in pay that was required um, by this proposal. And you would have between the two of you 12 hours per week to do all of your administrative stuff. Okay. Programs, planning grant writing, okay? Because you wouldn't have the library open for those 12 hours a week. You would have exclusive time to devote to those kind of administrative things, okay? That's one way to cut down is the number of hours. It would affect your part-time on call because if you've got two full-timers, 30 hours a week in the library, that's what you need to run the library. Two people working full time to do, you know, help customers with the computers, do some programs, you know, check out books and so forth. Okay. So you could reduce by a significant amount the amount that you were requesting for on call. Okay. $3,000 a year would cover vacations, up to four weeks' vacations plus another 120 hours for sick time. Okay. I've thought about this a lot, okay, a lot. You've got a $4,500 um, request for the custodian. That used to be a grant, now it's not. Rec department doesn't have a custodian, correct? We do. Yourselves? <laughs> well, yeah, I, do, but I mean, there is somebody that does all the accountability. Like, I don't know what um, do here at least with the rec. Mm -hmm. Other words, a little bit. A little bit. They clean their own. Yeah. yeah. They clean their own. Water and sewer cleans their own. I talked with Jessica. She said Friday before I leave, I take care of the custodial stuff. Okay. So, you can use a grant to pay for that again. You can take it out of the Murphy Fund to pay for that. But it's $4,500 that personally, I don't think you need. You've got under the proposal that I have, you've got two hours a week for your assistant. Put your assistant here, okay? Um, 4,000 for maintenance and repairs. You've got the Murphy Fund. You've got 90 plus thousand in the Murphy Fund. Use that, that's what it's for. General operation of the library and capital improvements to the library. Okay, that could be used for that. And then I also discussed with the other trustee in a nearby town, the cost of $16,300 for books and AV materials. And if you look at the hours, if you reduced it to 30 hours a week, five days a week, six hours a day, that would mean that you were there 250 days out of the year because there's 10 holidays, I believe. So that's 250 days the library would be open. At $16,300, it comes down to $65.20 every day you're open. The new books and a <laughs> and when I ran that by another trustee, they almost fell out of their seat and said, "What are they spending like that for? You know, what are they a hub for the interlibrary loan in the North Country? Why would they spend that much for books? If you reduced it to ten thousand, you'd still be able to buy forty dollars worth of books every day you're open. That's a lot." 
We just got rid of a bunch of books that went to the Catholic school. They snapped them up. We don't have Rome. And that's why I understand everybody has to kind of get new stuff and, and get rid of the older stuff. I get it. But I think there's ways to cut. Nobody asked me what I had thought of. And I've thought about it a lot because I know how libraries work. I practically lived in one when I was in high school and college. Okay. So I just wanted to address the fact nobody's saying you're not important. Nobody is saying that we should close a library, which statutorily we cannot without jumping through a million hoops. I'm just saying, I don't think we need the hours that we currently have because nobody else in the North Country and Coos County has that many hours. Closest is Berlin at three times our population. Okay. But nobody seems to want to fit outside the box. And that's where I come from. Okay. So that's what I would have said to you. Now, this committee can't tell you what to do with the money. I'm just trying to show you that I didn't just pull that out of the air. But I think we could cut literally if we did all of those things together, $24,800. And I don't think the average person would even know the difference. Okay. So thank you for what you do. It's a beautiful library. I'm very proud of it. But I don't think we need to be spending what 162 grand every year for the library. I think there's ways to trim it back because people are having they're there's they're scared. Some people are scared. All right, Adam and I, we're going to be able to afford whatever the town throws at us. Okay, we can afford it. Thankful. I have a lot of people. I would appreciate it. And I know someone appreciates getting your um, input too. And, but I think you just need more. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, that's fine. <laughs> okay, no more discussion on Article 15. Not all those in favor of Article 15 is presented, please raise your hand. Opposed? Article 16 is $5,000 for library maintenance capital reserve. Take a motion, please. Second. I'm going to second. All right. <laughs> Discussion. All those in favor? Aye. Opposed? Members. 17 is the sewer budget. Make a motion for the committee. Second. Aye. I think we'd like to have the recommendation. Yeah. yeah. I'll do it. <laughs> <laughs> Discussion. Thank you. I don't know maybe you know. All in favor of 17. Opposed 17. Passed the damage. 18 is sore. We move by Adam. Second. Second. Discussion. All in favor. Opposed. Unanimous. Nineteen is the ten thousand dollars for the Fourth of July committee. Thanks. Come on, sir. Great discussion. All those in favor? Opposed? Unanimous. Oh, yeah, okay. Yeah, let's see. We all, we're all willing to cut something. Well, we all know that I don't have anything to talk about at all. We kind of have to put it right there. I'm going to kind of attack it. Please, please. We're trying to take it out of the ball. I don't know. 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 Motion. 
Discussion? All those in favor of opposed? Two abstentions. Out of twenty one by equipment capital reserve. Discussion. All in favor? Opposed? Abstaining? Two. It's a fire That's all the fire department? Yeah. And it's Scuba, ambulance, staff reserve, and ambulance. But I'm not going to do it. 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 I'm not it's you. Yeah. And this is the reason we set this up. Yeah. So that's why I had to Yeah, he explained that. Okay. I was happy. Yes. Okay. So, articles 20, 24. Any discussion? All in favor? Opposed? Abstaining? Approved? Police capital reserve items, cruiser and equipment. We will move to the second. Discussion? All in favor of 25, 26, 27, 25, 26, 25, 26. 25. All opposed? And that was the unanimous one. Yes. Okay. And we're going to give the 27, which is Dick Stag, 28, which is town building, 29, and renewable energy in the group of three. I like that one. Do we move? Second. Uh, discussion 27, 28, 29. No, all in favor. Closed, passed, unanimous. 30. This is the uh, public works garage solar project. We move to the second. We move to the second discussion. You know, I think this better money is up there. Oh, yeah. 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 Sometimes you spend money to make money. Right. Yeah. 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 Thirty seconds. Yeah. 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 Yeah, the board. Second. 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 Second.
supporting of agencies. I thought it was a good explanation that because that was one that we had talked about when the you know, so. And even the mission data or they're the ones that only actually fill us what they put in. Not even. That's why that's that's why people question that. Yeah. She in the past, right? In the past, it was right. So in fourteen, right. Um, she I'll ask the question what happens if on the floor someone says up to 14,000 based on actual expenses? You can modify it. I don't think you can say based on actual expenses. I think you can I don't know um, if you, can, you can say we want to reduce it. Right. Well, I don't think you can change the word. Right. But you okay. can change. You can't change, can't change the word. Okay. That's what I was wondering. Yeah. That's probably something that we'll do. Well, we have uh, <laughs> yeah, a conversation, and I looked up the RSA. So any of the RSAs that you can see that you can change the the word. Right. Any of the of these um, petition warrant articles can be the the amount can be amended on it, but the word can't be amended. Plus the other thing is, but if that's the other thing that looks like we're doing is everybody else, whatever they request, they get the loss. Right. Except for this. Right. And then you've got a difference. It, it feels a little weird. The one thing I wanted to mention is 41 <coughs> to 43. The whole of that comes to almost 51,000. Budget was okay. That is more than the town clerk's department to run all year. That is more than the parks department maintenance for one year, right? You're like 40, 40. The park department. For the maintenance. Yeah, I think it was like 44. And the cemeteries said more than. All four cemeteries being cared for for the full year. We can prove all things. Um, we can only recommend. We can't change it. So we can recommend it or not recommend. Um, I'm wondering though, if as a committee, we can ask ourselves if it's over a certain amount because we have 14,000, 10,000, 10,000. Um, four entities are taking up a huge portion of that building. And I'm just wondering if, as a committee, we could want to do one or two things. You, you could mention, I think, at one point, I think you did as well, not recommend any of them, because that's what some towns do. Or if, as a committee, we could kind of say, you know, we could kind of say, you know what, let's put the money in our minds. We can't put the money here, but in our minds, 4,000, 5,000, whatever. We decide as a committee that if it's over that, it would be not recommended. That, that's another option. Um, I think they all serve very different, diverse purposes. Mm -hmm. um, so, I mean, I can't vote in support of all these, but I also can't put a, a cap on an agency that has umpteen different, you know, the winter limit. They they have a certain program level and other things have much bigger program level. So to give them a cap doesn't make sense to me, but it's a box. Yeah, yeah, it's just thinking outside the box. The other thing is I have concerns about the number of and we just heard the land incentive tonight that we've gone up and we're ten thousand dollars. I know they said that's for salaries, but if you look at the numbers, 
it's 49% of the kids in that program that were from born. They had women, children, girls, children, um, and one other place I can't recall, white in a place. Um, obviously, somebody lives there, comes here to work, has their child here for childhood. I don't mind the time to go on this. I'm concerned at the number of people, and a lot of these, the percentages are out of whack in terms of what we pay and what other families, excuse me, are paying for their folks. Um, so I was, um, I was also concerned that they jumped by more than, they wouldn't double their request. They, they were very non-specific in what they were going to do with the money. Um, child care is essential. Um, those people who might be able to pick up for them, they're probably working for more. But, so, um, but I'm, I'm just concerned that they, they double and they, they were very clear about I think part of the explanation was from another agency that spoke of these income here in the case and the fact that um, the director was afraid to ask for more and she was naive about the amount she could ask. It was just a, a matter of um, not having the experience with working with this type of issue. That was the way I understood it. I just didn't see any application how $10,000 is going to raise, would have been really raised. I didn't see that. I didn't see it was going in general funds. So I, you know, I, I don't know that I can say it was more than five years. Okay. I, I didn't see what you're saying, Mary. I understand what you're saying. Mm -hmm. I don't feel comfortable because they are separate and just saying, okay, if it's over this amount, I mean, I, I'd rather do each individual. That's just me. And, and, and I, I we, we can't change them. They're already in. You just say it's the board of the we can't change the word or anything. It's not what we do. Right. It's just how you look at it. That's all we do. Okay. And like that, I, I said before, you know, some towns don't recommend that they don't feel not my family or my family. It should work. It's up to the taxpayers to decide. Right. Well, we've had a chance. They, they, they right. we asked them for an application so we could review their request. Oh. I think we have a right. taxpayer recommendation. And you're right. We'll go to all that. We can allow them to have a new general. It's not a good recommendation. It's just a way to look at things going down the road. You know, it's almost too easy. I'm not even asking for the paperwork and everything else. We just don't have any deal. It's a much better. In any case, the vote is on the floor, and we are going to get involved with the issue. That's a good person. We just make reference to it. Right. I don't know what person I have. You know, good day, you can make it the best thing in the world. But... Is there are all individual reasons? Yeah. I don't know those. Okay, I'm looking at their moral. This is this is the funding that's being done um, requested for 2023 from DLC. Four of ten thousand, Randolph five, Shelburne four. So the folks from Whitefield and Rosen and Berlin who have children, Berlin has 16 percent of 23, Milo has six percent of the population that's in the in 23, Grove has two percent, Whitefield four percent. Laurel State has what they're requesting 10,000, and they have 49% of clientele. Randolph is being requested by, they represent only 6%. Shelburne is being requested for 4,000, and the percentage of total clients are 16%. So it's only those three that are being asked to make a contribution to the DLC this year. Um, you know, we're paying 10 and they'll stay in five. You've got 49% of their sisters. I have a big difference with that. So, 
So is, is there a motion to pass article yeah. 40? 41 is on the floor. Okay, so that's ready to vote on article 41. All those in favor of recommending article 41, please raise your hand. Oh, we don't need one forty one. Yeah, forty one. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, now we're all talking about the line. So, so, okay. so, what was the one? Anybody against? Wait, wait, wait. Three against. I think it's like, okay, you're going to be able to do this. Maybe one pair. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. Oh, two. <laughs> Forty two is middle health. So we'll second. Discussion? No. Well, again, I'm looking at the numbers. That's what you're telling me. <laughs> I mentioned uh, about this year, they're asking six different folks. They were requesting 1,097 which has 65.8% of the clientele, or 195 points. So actually, I didn't have a chance for that. I think. And you need to check. It's per capita. It's per capita. Yeah. So I just need to check that. More discussion on 42. All those in favor of recommending out of 42. Opposed? Unanimous. 43 Tri County Community Action Program. So moved. 57 44. Second. Moved and seconded. I just need to check the numbers. Discussion on 43. All in favor of 43. Opposed? Unanimous. 44. Community running center. 10,000. Uh, so moved. Yeah, Discussion. Okay, we already got it. It's slipping. We have to Ready to vote? Yeah. All those in favor of recommending 44? Yeah. Opposed? Yeah. It's not, it's, it's the doubling and it's the lack of substantiation. I think that was the more benefit. 25 uh, historical society. So, so <laughs> I had to get out of high school. <laughs> <laughs> Any discussion? <laughs> historical society. Not all in favor, so you can raise your hand. 18 errors. 46 uh, family resource center, 10,000. Second. Discussion? I still have concerns having like the number of going to the visual circuit and having to show them the numbers. I think that would be leaving there. It should not include uh, in the direct services to folks. But that's just my opinion. One of the few numbers that Marie gave me, and she's there in that head, and the thing you were in the majority of their programs, I think those numbers are there. And I think that's the mission of this is really a good job. Lining for me. <laughs> Any discussion on 46? No, all in favor? 
Section forty seven. No, you ready to vote all in favor? Congratulations. Forty eight. A V Chamber of Commerce. <laughs> Motion? Yes. Yeah. Discussion? I think there's a variety of other sources, um, whether it's our website, um, Facebook pages, partner Facebook pages, private Facebook pages, public Facebook pages that do a lot of dissemination. Build on what you're saying. The towns have already a member, and the school system doesn't have a member. And if the 40 plus interested in the seventy dollars each, if they want the extra publicity, it's a discussion. All in favor of article 48, Opposed? I vote. I vote. 49. Uh, hospice, home, health, et cetera, et cetera. No, no, no. Uh, thank you. I'll second that. Discussion? Trying to find where the numbers are for people served in the war. I'm not seeing the numbers, but I'm not seeing the numbers of people served in the war. You may not be able to get those numbers because they're hip hop. Okay. Um, Somebody's dying in your house. I don't think you can go ahead and throw it out of the table. Right, right. As long as no personal information. As long as there's no personal information on the phone, then yes. It's a small town. Wow. Yeah, it doesn't matter. Well, I think so. Are we getting some of them? Say no, I think it's the Right. I don't see any of the Yeah, I don't see any of the I get it, but they ask for specific information and I'm not seeing anything. They've given it Discussion on 49. I'm ready to vote on 49. All those in favor of 49. Opposed? Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. mm -hmm. mm -hmm. mm -hmm. <laughs> um, we need to get signed. I just wanted to tell everybody, I forgot to begin with this meeting for a few days. I think you did too. I hope that's part of it. Yeah. I think it's a good idea. I was looking at all the time. I didn't think it was a good idea. I forgot. I apologize. I 
Hi, Christina. Hello, hello. 